When building a digital breakout game or possibly a physical digital hybrid breakout game, a great place to organize all of your digital clues is on a Google site. I've gone ahead and created a brand new blank Google site and I'm going to start adding in the clues as well as embedding the Google form that will serve as my lockbox. So here I am on the home page of this particular site. I'm going to give my page a title. We're going to call it the name of the breakout game. Now, the first thing I'm going to embed is my Google form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my form in forms.google.com and I'm going to click the send button. Now notice I can get a link to this particular document or I can get the embed code. I want to get the embed code and copy that code and I'll go back to my Google site. Now I can use the insert menu in the right panel and click embed or a shortcut when building Google Sites. If you double click, this wheel of tools appears. I'm going to go ahead and click embed and I'll paste the embed code in here and click next. We'll just resize that. All right, now I'm ready to start adding in my clues. The first clue I'm going to add in is that interactive graphic that we created in Google Drawings with the hidden hotspots. Now, remember what I said in that particular video, we cannot add this as an image, or if I double click, select images. Instead, I'm going to select from drive. I'm going to click on recent to see files that I've recently been working on and there's that interactive Google Drawings. I'll select it and click Insert. Now, right now, while I'm in edit mode, when I hover over, I won't have access to those links, but if I switch into preview, now when I hover, hover over that beaker, I can see that there is a link. If I click on that beaker, I'm taken right to that lab rules document and if I go back, if I click on the little Google Maps logo, I'm taken right to that Google Map. All right, the next clue, let's just switch back into edit mode. The next clue that I'm going to uh, add is a PDF file, again, from my drive. I will simply double click to get that wheel of awesomeness, those tools that I can use, and I'll select from my drive. And there's that PDF document. Click insert, and now that PDF has been added to my site. I can resize it, but again, my participants, when they view the site, they'll see this little pop-out in the top right corner of the file, which will allow them to open the file in a new tab. Notice that I can also embed other content. For instance, if I go to Flipgrid, I can get the embed code to that grid that I made, copy the link, or get the embed code itself, but I'm gonna copy the link, and I'm going to go back to the Google site and click embed by URL and paste that link in. I'm gonna select the whole page, and again, I'll resize that. Now in Google Sites, notice that I can also add text. I can add text beside other documents that I've inserted or below, I can create a text box that spans the entire width of the site. I can even set a background color and make titles or headings. Let's just scroll back up to the top. Please note that there are many other ways you can build up this Google site. This by no means is a comprehensive video of how to use sites. 
Instead, I just wanted to showcase how we could add clues and embed the Google form inside our Google site. Before we hit publish to share this out with our students, let's come up to the top and enter a title for our site. And now I will go ahead and click publish. It's automatically set to anyone can view my site and I can go ahead and click publish. If I click the little drop down next to publish, I can say view published site. I can now copy this link to share with my students as part of the breakout game.